Hi, I'm Christine. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm here to show all the physical books on my shelves behind me that I haven't read yet. <laughs> So a couple people in the comments I have asked for this video in the past so I've been meaning to film it and I decided to jump into it for December since I'm doing like book miss vlog miss having extra videos come out in the month of December thought this would be a fun one to do for December so yeah without further ado we're going to jump into it I'm going to try to figure out how I'm going to film this <laughs> so yeah I think I'm going to focus mainly on this bookshelf behind me and not show all of like historical romances because a lot of those I purchased for like cover lust Fridays step back Saturdays all of those like we're not going to get into my whole like old school historical romance collection but yeah we're gonna jump into the shelves behind me I think I'm gonna go like shelf by shelf and then just kind of like showcase them and pull out the ones I haven't read yet so we will see because I do have my Christmas decorations up on here so maybe not the best time to film it but like here we are <laughs> I feel like this is going to be fun to see. I'm excited to do it. I feel like I do read most of my books or most of the physical books I own. I've read them. So let's jump into it. All right. So these are my main bookshelves that you always see when I'm filming that are behind me. We're going to go through them. Up top, I do have like some book of the month romance hardcovers as well up there. I'll have like my book signing things I've gotten signed from this year's book signings, which I love having those up there. And then, yeah, we're just going to go through these and check out which ones I haven't read. This bottom shelf over here on the right are like historical romances overflow, so we're not going to go into those. But everything else, I am going to go through the shelves. This is like, like I mentioned, my main shelf. I have other shelves elsewhere, which I will just kind of like pull out books and show those too. So let's get into it. So first up, we'll go with the top. So up here are my book of the month hardcovers or other romances that I have in hardcover. So I have read, let's see, I think I've read all of these. Yes, I have. Oh wait, I haven't read these two new ones. So Check and Mate by Allie Hazelwood, which is her YA romance I need to read still. And then This Spells Love by Kate Robb. These are two new like November book of the month that I just grabbed. So I haven't read those ones. This one's like contemporary romance debut magical realism. And like I said, YA romance. So need to read those two. Otherwise I've read everything up on that shelf. <laughs> Next shelf, this is mostly my mafia romances. So we're just gonna start left to right again. I have read everything. Oh, I haven't read this one. This one is from Cora Riley's like Bound by Honor series, whatever that's called. This one is the Bound by Honor, but from the Heroes POV. So I haven't read that one, but it is a special edition I got, I think, from cover to cover. So that is why it's up there. And then everything else, pretty sure I've read. I've read all the Sophie Larks and the Mila Finellis. And then read that Neva Altage. That's a special edition. I have read the rest of that shelf. All right, next shelf. This is kind of like the start of my sports romances. Like I mentioned, I have all of my holiday decor up here. So we're just going to like work around them or I'll move them. So I'm just going to move those so we can see what's going on up here. <laughs> so I have a bunch of Nikki Castle special editions. I've read the entire fight game series. I've read these. These are like my hockey romances. I have read all of these. Some special editions and some baseball ones. And then, yeah, I have read that whole shelf. All right, this next shelf is pretty much my Kennedy Ryan shelf with some overflow as well. And I have read, I can just say right now, like I've read all of these. I've read all of Kennedy Ryan's up here. And I have read the two editions I have of Restore Me by J.L. Seegers. That was one of my favorite books of 2022. I love that one so, so much. So yeah, I have read all of those. Next shelf, this is kind of Nikki Sloan, QB Tyler, Katarina Mora, just kind of like the more steamy ones. So let's see, we'll jump into it. That is a bind up of the Filthy Rich American series by Nikki Sloan. I've read that one down there. And then her Nashville Neighborhood series I've read. I haven't read this one. Actually, these two I haven't read. So these are part of her, whatever the series is, like Three Simple Rules. This is a special edition from the last chapter. And then Three Little Mistakes. This is a special edition she did for the Steamy Lip book signing. Haven't read that series. And then let's see what else we have here. Read those, read the words. I've read all of QB Tyler's books now. I have read all of these Katarina Mora's as well. All right, and then down here are more hockey romances. So I have read all of the Tegan Hunters. I do need to read Her Greatest Mistake by Hannah Cowan. This one was a recent special edition from the last chapter bookshop. So I need to read that. It's a hockey romance. These were as well in the same hockey romance special edition box from last chapter. So I have my lucky number 13 by Piper Rain and then Axel by Samantha Whiskey. I need to read those. And then I have some Emily McIntyre here. I have read those. This is Sophie Lark Grimstone. I do need to read this one. This is her newest that just came out in October. I picked that up at the Love in Vegas book signing. 
than my Jennifer Hartman's. I haven't read this is a that like Aria and Coda special editions. I still need to read those two, which like her, her musician ones. And we have June 1st, absolutely love it. Love this duet so much. And that one I've read as well. All right, next down here. So we have some that I haven't read. So we have Charming Your Dad by Sarah Blue. Still need to read that one. That's a special edition from the last chapter. These two are Fiona Cole. So Teacher I haven't read, which is part of her Voyeur Club series, whatever that series is called. Maybe it's called the Voyeur Club. I don't remember. <laughs> I have Rouge by Greer Rivers. I do still need to read this one. This is a follow-up to Phantom. It exists in her Tattered Curtain series. So every time I've seen her at a signing, she always has a new book coming out. So that's when I've picked them up. Just haven't read that one yet though. Then both of these SJ Silvis are special editions. So we have all the Little Lies. I have not read this one yet. And then Dead Girls That Never Talk is a special edition as well. These are both part of her, like, I think she has new adult kind of prep school books. And that's what those are. So still need to get to them. Then we have The Alias by Lena Hendricks. I have not read this one. And this was a special edition from Dark and Quirky. And then we have Sophie Lark. I've read those. I've read the Jessica Hawkins, B.B. Easton. Elodie Hart, and then the rest of these, I think I've read all of them as well. Yep. All right, now we are up top again, so let's move this out of the way. All right, so moving up here again, these are going to be ones I have read as well. So this is my Penelope Douglas, my special editions. Then let's see, Pam Godwin, I have read those as well, special editions. So there we go. Maybe this is going to be kind of boring. I don't know. So let me move these as well. All right. So let's see. And I haven't been showing some of these ones that are turned around, but this is a Tilly Cole special edition for Mystic. Let me show it. I have read that one. The Gianna Darling. Oh, I have read the first book in this series, Antiheroes and Love Duet. I read the first one. I haven't continued on to a book two, so that is one I haven't read. These were special editions that Mystic did as well. So pretty. This is a special edition of the Mind F series by St. Abbey. I love that one so, so much. I have read that. These ones are just kind of by color and vibes is kind of how I organize <laughs> some of these. Then we just go into more special editions. I have read these. I've read these and I have read all of these and that's a special edition bind up as well. So yeah, there you have that. Oh, and I forgot to show, I do have like books behind here as well. And I have read all of those as well. <laughs> Same with behind birthday girl, more books. I've read all those as well. <laughs> all right. So this shelf, I believe I've read all of these. So Jessica Hawkins series, something in the way, some special editions of Sea of Ruin, three copies. Yes. Let's see what's behind here. Catching Lightning by Kayla King and Greer Rivers. I read this one, couldn't get into it, so I don't know if I'll get to it, but that is a football romance. This is the hockey romance special edition from Hello Lovely. And then from Luke Off with Love by Mariana Zapata. Still need to read that one. I've heard amazing things for it. So the rest I have read. And then over here as well, let's move some of all this stuff I have. I have read all the rest of these as well. Usually if you can notice, like my book collection is special editions or favorites. So most of them I'm gonna have read, but I guess you never know. All right, so next down here is like Sarah Kate and Jennifer Hartman. So I have read the Sarah Kate ones. This is a special edition bind up that she had for book signings. So this is Elicit, which is a bind up of a couple of her novellas that haven't been like printed elsewhere. So of those four, I've read two of them in there. I've read the first two, so I haven't read the last two. So we'll count that one. And then this one I just picked up in Vegas. So this is One Night in Sin City. This is a bind up that all the authors there did that they have different novellas in. So I haven't read it yet, but I know the novella from Sarah Kate in here is with the Give Me More characters. So I can't wait to get to it. So that one I haven't read. Right, the rest of these I have red pretty sure i have a ton of the same from like jennifer hartman yep i've read all the rest down onto this next shelf let's see so i have read i think everything maybe maybe not no haven't read this more of you by al jackson that was a recent hell lovely box special edition and then we go into my elizabeth o'rourke collection i have read all the rest bottom shelf down here just more contemporaries more emotional ones I have not read The Fall Up by Ali Martinez. This is a special edition from Hell Lovely Box. Otherwise, I believe I have read, no, I haven't read this Julianne. 
a place without you. This was a special edition that I picked up at a book signing. I think Readers Take Denver, I grabbed that one. Then we go into my Brittany Cherry books. Love them so much. I have read all of those. This is a special edition from Emma Scott that I think I got from the Eternal Embers special edition box they did. Haven't read this one. I think it's a duology. The Girl in the Love Song. I picked this one up at Book Bonanza. She had it there. It is from the Beyond the Pages special edition book box from Australia. Haven't read this one yet. This one from Jennifer Milliken is a special edition that I still need to read as well. Small Town, Cowboy Western. Definitely want to get to it. So then back up to this next shelf, these two are kind of like Devney Perry Overflow and then some other like kind of small town-ish ones. So let's see. I have read all of these. These are the special editions that she did for the Clifton Forge series on her website. I have read, well, I've read all of Debbie Perry, so I don't even know why I'm bothering to look. I've read all of hers. We have Fiona Cole. I love this series so much. At Singleton, we have The Right Move by Liz Tom Ford. I love it so much. This one I have not read. Written in the Scars by Adriana Locke. This was a recent special edition from Beyond the Pages book box in Australia, so I need to read that one still. Again, this is Devney Perry. I have read all of these. Some of them are special editions. Some of them are regular, like just her editions. I've read all of her books. Then down here, this is my Catherine Cowles collection. And then like kind of just some other ones that fit or are small town as well. So I have read all of these by Catherine Cowles. And then I've read all of those as well. And... In a Jam by Kate Canterbury. I've read that one. It's a special edition from Dark and Quirky. Tis a Season for Revenge, the regular and a special edition. I've read it. This one I have not read though. The Fall of Bradley Reed by Morgan Elizabeth as well. This was a special edition I got at the recent Vegas book signing. All right, this next shelf is more special editions as well as like my Laura Pavlov and Elsie Silver collections. So we have Corinne Michaels. I've read those. The Cat ones, all the Ale Jacksons I've read the Laura Pavlov. I read all those, some special editions in there. B.K. Borson, obsessed with the Love Light series so much. Elsie Silver, I have not read the rest of her Gold Rush Ranch series, so I've read the first book, Off to the Races, and I need to continue on to a photo finish, The Front Runner, and A False Start. All right, next shelf down here is Candy Steiner books, which I have read all of her books except for her PSU series and like her first two books, so I have read all of those Candy Steiners, a bunch of special editions in here. She has so many special editions and I love it. And then my overflow of Elsie Silver and then a Juliet Cross novella and I have read all of those. All right, so down here is just kind of like an overflow of some contemporaries as well as some dystopian and then we kind of go into like paranormal or fantasy as well. So let's see. This one, Not So Lucky by Trillina Pucci. Have not read that one. That's a hell lovely box special edition see the Claire Kent obsessed with that dystopian series so much so good um I still need to read The Stray Prince by Ella Fields it is a follow-up to a King So Cold which was one of my favorite reads of I think 2020 love this book so much it's like dark fantasy it is so twisty so wild royals very steamy wild time that I loved I want to reread it and then jump into the sequel this Wicked Things by Nyla Kay. I picked this one up at the Steamy Lit Book Signing in Anaheim. This is a bind up of like, I think they're all MM or MMM. Some of them are. Need to read that. Monster Anthology. Ship of Bones and Teeth by Karina Halley. Still need to read this one. I know it's like Pirates of the Caribbean meets The Little Mermaid. Fantasy, Pirates, sounds so good. And the rest, I have read and love all those so, so much. All right, then these next two shelves, we're getting into like my fantasy romances. So Sarah J. Mass is first. I love her books so, so much. I have all of the like special edition dust jackets. Love them. Throne of Glass series, and we go into the Akatar series. I've reread her books so much. The Akatar series, I think I've reread it like four or five times. Love them to pieces. My favorites forever. So next down here is more Sarah J. Mass. I have three editions of each book in the Crescent City series. Love them so, so much. Again, I have reread these like three times now, I think. I'm going to be rereading them again soon because book three comes out in January and I can't wait. I have so many notes, so many things, so many highlights. Obsessed with all of her books so much. Like I could talk about them forever, so don't even get me started. <laughs> and then let's see. Wraith King's series by Grace Draven. Still need to read book two, Eidolon. So this is a special edition that the Fae Crate, I think, did. Still need to read that. I'm going to read the first book, Radiance, first again before jumping into that one because it's been a few years. 
Finley Finn. This is a special edition to The Sins of the Orc. Need to read this one. It's MM and Orc slash fantasy romances. I need to read it. The Bookish Box. This is an anthology that they did. I have read some of these novellas in here. I really love it. This is like a winter one they did last year. I thought they were going to continue on, but like I haven't heard anything. So these are the authors featured in it. I have read some of their novellas, some I haven't. And this one is tabbed up because I've been taking this to book signings. So these are all the authors I've gotten to sign their novellas. I think there's only like one or two that I haven't had to sign yet. So love that for me. And let's see. So Dowry of Blood. Love this one so much. One of my favorites of the last year. I've read that. This one, the Olivia Wildenstein by, what is it? House of Beating Wings. Haven't read this one yet, but I plan to. This is a special edition that the Bookish Box did. All right, and then down here, we're going to be into my Ruby Dixon collection. I love her books so, so much. I have all of the like original editions of Ice Planet Barbarians, all except one. I need to find Barbarian Mine one of these days. I will track it down. <laughs> Let me move these out of the way. I have read all the Ice Planet Barbarians and I have read, these are special editions that she did for Book Bonanza. I've read The King's Spencer Bride. I still need to read The Half Orcs Maiden Bride. Her dragon series, I have read all of the Fireblood dragon series. Love them so much. The Half Orcs Maiden Bride, again, I need to read that one. This is like the newer edition. Then her Ice Planet Clone series, which is her newest series she's writing. I still need to read both of these. I love them because they have the full like step back moment on the back. Love that. When She's Mary is a novella she has for her Rizdiverse series. Still need to read that one. Let's see. Then the rest of these are like monster romances. So I haven't read this, The Dark Ones by Rachel Van Dyken. This was a special edition that Hell Lovely did for one of their Halloween boxes of vampires, I'm assuming. And the rest are special editions or monster romances. And I have read all the rest. So these are more fantasy romances. So and paranormal as well. So let's see, this is a special edition of The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, one of my favorites, love it, read it. Gothicana I've read, this is Fourth Wing, of course, the first edition, I have read it. I like the dragons showing, and I do have that one signed, like, personalized to me, so that's why I haven't gotten rid of it, even though I didn't love that book. Then I have the From Blood and Ash series, these were special editions that Illumicrate did, love them so much, and I have read the first two books, started book three, need to get back to it and finish it, and then again, read book four. This is a special edition as well from JLA. Let's see. This is a, a Polycon special edition for Shadow and the Ember by JLA. I have not read that one either. And then the rest of these are my TJ Klune. So the first two books in the Green Creek series, I have read them both. Recently did a read along for that one with friends, which was so fun to finally read that series. I'm so sad I never continued on and got the original editions for <laughs> book three and book four because book three is my favorite in the series need to track it down one of these days. It was a so good heart song. I loved it so much. And then the rest of these are TJ Klune special editions and I just have the sprayed edges showing. So first one is Wolf Song right here. These are all I think from the UK. This one is in the lives of puppets. Love the sprayed edges. This one is in the lives of, of puppets. This was a fairy loot edition that they did. This is House in the Cerulean Sea. Love it so much. And then this is Under the Whispering Door right there. So I just love how the sprayed editions look and have them displayed that way. Then I guess I could quickly show this little like historical romance section. So up top I have some special editions of the Bridgerton series and then some other like hardcover ones and I have read all of those. Then I have my Elizabeth Hoyt, Kerrigan Byrne, and Joanna Shoup. I have read all of those as well. <laughs> then down here are my Lorraine Heaths. I have read all of these, they are double stacked, so some in the back I haven't read, but let's see. Lisa Claypis and Beverly Jenkins. I have read all of Beverly Jenkins' historicals. Lisa Claypis, I have read all of these, except for her first original four, as well as one duet from her I still need to read. And then down here are like some indie historicals that I have, or like trade size. So let's see, you're just getting like the rough and ready ones for all of these. So Lisa Claypis, Lorraine Heath, I've read all those. Let's see here. The Detective Duke by Scarlett Scott, I have not read, but I love her historicals. This is a special edition that the last chapter bookshop did. Scarlett Peckham series, so good. Alyssa Cole, that one is such a good series. Love it so much. Definitely underrated. Stacey Reed, I definitely have read. Alexis Hall, the Scarlett Scotts, and Elisa Bradens. These are just some of my favorites, and I have read all of these. 
and yeah i have read all the rest of these as well all right so those are all the physical books that i have not read that's on my main shelf i do have bookshelves elsewhere in this room that i'm not going to showcase the ones on there just because most of those are like special editions that maybe i didn't initially order like that came with book boxes that i'm subscribed to that like i don't want to unsubscribe and not get future ones so like they're books that i'm probably going to unhaul at some point or like yeah just like special editions like that that I didn't really want or don't plan to get to so I'm not going to count those as like my physical TBR. Like I mentioned all of my historical books are over here. I'm not going to showcase all of those because like I'd have to dig through them and we're just not going to do that. So yeah that is my main bookshelf though. I'm going to have like a counter tracker thingy to showcase how many I have unread on this because I would love to know it myself. I feel like I do a pretty good job though like most of my books on my shelves like I mentioned are favorites that I purchased to have on my shelves that I want around me all the time or they're like special editions of favorites as well so most of them I've read so I feel like a good 90% of my books I have read so yeah let me know in the comments if you saw any that I was pulling out that you're like Christy you need to read that immediately you're gonna love it or if you saw some that you're like you might as well get rid of that one you ain't gonna like it let me know that too and yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video this was fun to do I am gonna have like a full bookshelf tour in 2024 that I'll probably do in January that I will showcase like all the books on my shelf, pull them all out, all those things, show you all the special edition covers. I definitely want to have a special edition bookshelf tour as well. So I'm going to do that as well. I did do a bookshelf tour in 2023, like in the spring earlier this year. That was fun. So you can go back and check that one out. I'll link it in the description of the video, but my shelves change all the time. They've definitely grown since then. So yeah, I can't wait to do another one soon. So that's all I have for today. Make sure to comment and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and I'll see you in my next one.